Alright guys, so this is the summary of what happened in the House of Reps yesterday between Bobrisky, Very Dark Man, EFCC, the Falanas, and the prison officers. Upon there, Very Dark Man arrives to the House of Reps with his lawyer and his babalawo native daughter. <laughs> when I saw native daughter, that's when I say, Omo, the matter is getting worse. Like, he's really getting serious. Upon arrival, Very Dark Man was asked to introduce himself and why he's there by the House of Reps. Very Dark Man introduced himself and said that, he isn't going to further, he's, even, he's not going to, you know, provide any evidence or say anything further until he sees Bobriski. That if you say anything, let him die. <laughs> That's when Bobriski lawyer stood up to say that Bobriski won't be there because he isn't feeling well. And upon that, upon all contemplation, the House of Rest now asked Very Darkman to proceed. And Very Darkman say he's not going to say anything. That if you say anything, let him die. That Bobrisky must be there before he says anything. And he was threatened by the House of Reps that if he don't provide the evidence and what he said, the accusation he laid on this a whole institution, EFCC, he will be arrested. And he was advised by the lawyers. Oga, provide the little you can. And Very Darkman proceed. <laughs> Even though upon everything he said there, there's no more different than what you know what he posted on social media, and he said that he got the records, the the you know the video records, the audio records from someone Bobrisky is indebted to, and all of that. Hmm. So after that, he tried to blast even the House of Red say that they are corrupt until they they shut him up. No, 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 no. They collected the off the mic and collected <laughs> mic from him. He even proceeded to say that there's still more like part two to part three to part four. That when he sees Bob Risky, that's when he will come up with the part two, the part three, and part four and go on evidence. So he went ahead to apologize to Falanas. Uh, Falana apologized to him, say you are your father and all of that. Say, uh, finally, <laughs> very kind man done so combo. He apologized to them, but he hasn't apologized to face yet. He came out and indirectly apologized, but we want to see him apologize if pride will let him. But whatever, that's the part, the end part for Very Dark Man. Bob Risky wasn't there, so we didn't, we did, don't have much about Bob Risky. So let's talk about EFCC. <laughs> EFCC say that is a lie. It's a lie that the money laundry, you know, charges they dropped against Bob Risky was dropped legally. So upon all investigation, they found out that the mo money laundry allegation holds no locus strandy. Yes, has no point so they drop it then they actually charge bobriski over the naira mutilation and abuse um, and currency mutilation and abuse of naira which kubana chief priest also did but didn't go to jail i didn't really understand <laughs> somebody went to jail even if not three weeks or he was in an apartment for same offense someone committed but didn't go i don't really understand honestly i feel like very dark man is working for federal government they're just distracting us remember today first october is the you know the protests you know and hunger protests is going to start and this is the drama this is the attention i can say that this is a distraction because i can't really understand believe that the house of red instead of addressing you know addressing the you know the the press issue the the issue you know the, the current you know issue or the the hardship we are facing in this country that discuss about very dark man Bobrisky and yeah like, i don't get anyway that's not why we're here so efcc proved themselves say there's no money collected from Bobrisky, and now the one that shocked me the prison officers were minister of interior when very dark man very dark man met minister of in, you know interior i know open all this drama and few days like the next day minister of interior made a public you know statement that those of you know prison officials so you have these officials who prison officials who were there when bobby's and all of that you know all this drama and bribe allegation has been suspended and the same man came to the house of reps yesterday say that they weren't suspended they were only suspended on social media they have no reason to suspend them there's no reason no valid tangible reason to suspend them <laughs> Wahala. i don't get so the summary we say efcc has cleared them name but you know, very dark man hasn't. You see, very dark man is hanging yet. I believe very dark man is in trouble because there's no way very dark man will fight EFCC and win. <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. And they say that the prison officer said that the reason why they kept Bob Risky in a you know a different you know facility is because Bob Risky has breasts. Yes, say so Bob Risky has you know a female features, and in those you know prison there are both rapists, you know, pedophiles, blah, 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 and all that. So, Bobrisky is in danger if he's been kept among those men. And that is why they kept him separate. Almost they have defended themselves. 
very dark man cho 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 whatever what do you guys think do you think that very dark man might likely go to jail or seven years imprisonment if he didn't provide much evidence because now Bobinski is becoming innocent, EFCC is becoming innocent, they, can, they have proof. So, very dark man don't have any strong reason to accuse the institution. Or do you think he will be forgiven? Please, guys, comment your opinion respectfully at the comment section. And don't forget to, and don't forget to follow and share this video.